<laughs> good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are watching this video. My name is Jessica Corvo, and I just had to share this beautiful moment. So I'm a survivor of trauma, specifically gun violence, and part of my recovery journey was very difficult because I needed, I felt I needed to identify the types of people that were causing me harm, i.e. give them a label. That way I could understand their behavior and then I could figure out what I needed to do in order to continue to protect myself. And I felt very guilty about giving labels because number one, I'm not certified in that. And then number two, it just, it just didn't feel right. And my perspective is that everybody deals with trauma at some point and the way that they handled the the trauma internalize externalize whatever that's what causes the mental nuances of them whether it's instability or hardness or something like this and it was a conflict that i had i mean 3.6 million words to try to figure it out right and it's interesting because today i was a guest speaker and one of the speakers was talking about grief. And as he was talking about grief, he started talking about narcissistic responses. And I started evaluating myself with maybe I'm a narcissist. And then I had asked the difference between being narcissistic versus having the fleas. What does this mean? Within the survivor community, a lot of people, when you're surrounded by, you know, people that are behaving in a certain way, you know, nature versus nurture type of situation, you get affected by your environment. So if you've been around, say, a narcissist, for example, and they're causing great destruction, great harm, and everything, then you sometimes pick up some of those behaviors and some of those nuances as a coping mechanism in order to defend yourself. You're in survival mode. You're not doing it because it's part of you. You're doing it to protect yourself, which I guess, you know, is the same thing that they were doing <laughs> to protect themselves. The difference is, is uh, the person who was targeted was injected in, realized that they didn't, that wasn't good for them, and then they came out. Part of that recovery journey is understanding, purifying, and then leaving all these, these fleas. So anyways, uh, I just I had to share that moment because how often are you able to do an entire journey, not realize that the methodologies and everything that you are practicing came from somebody, and then you share a online platform with one of the biggest inspirational people that even coined the topic of narc fleas and being able to, to have that dialogue. I'm just next level, full circle. Life is good. I wanted to share that with you guys. Stay in your lane. Continue doing what you need to do. Don't worry about external anything. And eventually, it all makes sense. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. I hope you guys have a great day. And talk to you soon.